Well, it's less than two weeks now to Christmas. Well, believe it or not, Alex's maths has been scrutinised and tested, and she's right, <laughs> and it's quite scary. Well, for some, Christmas has definitely come early. The Cube Cinema in Bristol had only three weeks left to find the cash to survive, but they're not running the end credits just yet. The Cube Cinema in Bristol is a non-profit art centre run entirely by volunteers. They had until the end of this month to raise £185,000, <laughs> quite a task, to build, uh, to buy their building rather, and secure their future. Well, last night they did it. Will Glennon reports. It's there in black and white. The target of £185,000 passed with almost three weeks still to go. And this is the building that houses the Cube, which, all being well, will soon belong to its users. The Cube's sort of been run on love, I think, for the last 15 years, and donations that have come in kind of show that, you know. It almost doesn't feel real right now, because it's, it's just crazy that we've, we've done it, and we've done it before the deadline, because, you know, I've been working out things for the New Year's Eve party, which we thought was the deadline, and we'd still be raising right up to there, but we've, we've already done it. It's just a celebration now. It means that from next year, the Cube will no longer pay rent, so all the takings can go into the programmes. Cinema, art, performance. The ethos here won't change either. Staff work for free. It doesn't set out to make a profit. It's about the quality of the events rather than making money, um, which adds like a very different kind of feeling about the whole place. And because nobody gets paid as well, um, everybody's here because they want to be here and because they love it, which is why I think it's got a really great atmosphere. What's even more impressive is how successful the appeal has been given the general economic climate. Alongside all of the public services, the arts have been cut quite heavily by the government, um, and it does make um, sustaining activity quite difficult. It's fantastic that so many people have got behind it. The Arts Council chipped in a £90,000 grant, but most of the rest came from small donations from a large number of people. Anything raised over the total will go towards much-needed refurbishments, of the almost 100-year-old building as the Cube prepares for the next big chapter in its history. Will Glennon, BBC Points West, Bristol. Very quickly, by the way, if you do want to find out more details about the end of this month's wild event, just type into any search engine Cube NYE. Although there aren't that many tickets left. Right, let's get forecast here. Thanks very much. We're going to head into a night that'll be noticeably wild, wild. indeed, as indeed will be tomorrow, Saturday. Things will start at about the early mid afternoon, so it'll be quite wild. <laughs> wild. wild. It'll be quite wild. <laughs> Thanks very much, Ian. Thanks, Ian. And uh, please keep sending your photos for the Cube's Facebook page so uh, you can post them there or email them, of course. So go on and have a look and uh, maybe press the like button on the ones that you think are the best. Yes. And uh, that's it from us for now. Are you back later? Back at 10 o'clock news. But for now, from all of us here, goodbye.